Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So guys, today we are going to discuss study drug compliance, what it is, why it is important and how to improve it. So before this video start, please do subscribe this channel as it will give me motivation to upload more video like this. What is study drug compliance? Study drug compliance refer to the extent to which individual comply to prescribed medication regimen in a clinical trial or a research study. It is important for study participant to follow the study drug regimen as closely as possible to ensure accurate and reliable data collection or to reduce the risk of adverse event. So why study drug compliance is important? One of the most important reason for study drug compliance is to ensure the validity and reliability of the study result. Second, if participant do not take the study drug as prescribed, the study result may not accurately reflect the drug effectiveness or safety. Third, non-compliance can make it difficult to analyze the result of the study as clinical study personnel cannot be sure if the lack of efficacy is due to the drug itself or non-compliance. So moving forward, what are the factors that affect study drug compliance? There are several factors that can affect study drug compliance including forgetfulness, lack of motivation, complexity of the medication regimen, fear of side effect and the inconvenience of having to take medication daily. So these are the factors which can affect study drug compliance in clinical trial. So what are the criteria or the parameter on which study drug compliance in clinical trial can be determined? So in clinical trial, study drug compliance is typically determined through a combination of different methods including self-reporting, pill count, electronic monitoring devices and biological measures. So first coming to self-reporting, participant may be asked to keep a diary or log of their medication use including the time and dose of each medication they take. However, self-reporting can be unreliable as participant may forget to record the medication use or may not want to report non-compliance. In clinical trial, subject diary is given to the clinical trial participant to record the daily medication uses. Coming to the second method, that is pill count. In this method, the number of pills dispensed and the number of pills written are compared to determine how many pills are taken during specific period. This method is useful for determining compliance over a specific time period but it does not provide information about when the pills were taken or whether they were taken correctly. Now coming to the third method that is electronic monitoring devices. These devices can record the date and the time that the medication container was open or closed. This method is more accurate than self-reporting or pill count as it provides information about the when the medication was taken. However, electronic monitoring devices can be expensive and may not be practical for all the clinical trials. So this was the third method. Now coming to the fourth, that is biological measures. In some cases, biological measure can be used to determine medication compliance. For example, blood test can be used to measure the level of medication in the bloodstream. This method is very accurate, but it is not always practical or feasible for all clinical trials. It's important to note that no single method is foolproof. Each method has its own limitation. Therefore, multiple methods are often used to determine study drug compliance in clinical trial. By using a combination of method, researcher can get a more accurate and comprehensive picture of study drug compliance and ensure the validity and reliability of the study result. So now coming to the last part of the video, that is how to improve study drug compliance. So here are the some tips to improve study drug compliance. First of all, educate participant about the importance of study drug compliance and how it affects the validity of the study result. Second, provide clear and detailed instruction how to take the medication, including when and how often to take it. Third, use reminder system such as text, message, email or phone call to help participant remember to take the medication. Fourth, simplify the medication regimen as much as possible and consider using combination medication when appropriate. Last, any concern or fear participant may have about side effect and provide support and guidance as needed. So these are the proactive measures which can be adopted to improve study drug compliance in any clinical trial. So on concluding note, study drug compliance is crucial for the success of clinical trial and its study. 
by understanding the importance of compliance and taking steps to improve it, we can ensure that the data collected is accurate, reliable and useful for developing new treatment and therapies. And that's it guys, this is the video, thank you for watching and of course, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more video like this.